Hi, I'm Robert Osborne, and welcome. Nice to have you with us as we pay tribute to one of those jobs you don't hear much talked about or boasted about anymore. There are, of course, many doctors, lawyers, and hedge funders running around today, but when was the last time you ran into a royal tutor at your local bar? Well, if movies are to be believed, and they shouldn't be, of course, royal families are always on the hunt for someone to educate the future kings and queens who may one day sit on a throne. Well, no hunt could turn up somebody better than the royal tutor who's the centerpiece of our next movie. The movie is Anna and the King of Siam. It's from 20th Century Fox in 1946. It's the first screen adaptation of the 1944 book by Margaret Landon, which would later be adapted by Rodgers and Hammerstein into the great 1951 stage musical The King and I, which itself was later turned into a lavish film. It's all a true story with some liberties taken, about a widowed mother who takes a job tutoring English to the children of the King of Siam in 1862. The King in the movie played by Rex Harrison in what was his very first Hollywood film. The tutor in the movie is Irene Dunn, and both are really great choices for their parts, although neither was the original choice of the big boss of 20th Century Fox, Daryl F. Zanuck. Zanuck's first choice to play the King was actually William Powell with James Mason or Charles Boyer as others on the want list. To play Anna, Zanuck wanted Dorothy McGuire, hot off her breakout role in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. But Dorothy McGuire was under contract to producer David O. Selznick, and Selznick couldn't work out a deal that was satisfactory to Selznick. So he put together a list of other possible candidates to play Anna, and that list included Claudette Colbert, with the very last name on the list actually being Irene Dunn. Zanuck adding a notation on that list that he felt Irene at age 47 was too old for the part. Despite that, she got the part, and it is one of her most memorable performances. Linda Darnell, a ranking star in her own right, is also in the movie in what is in a sense a supporting role, something Linda was doing quite often at that time, but what would soon end when a year later she was given the most coveted role for any actress in years the lead in the film version of the most talked about book of the decade, Forever Amber. Our movie also boasts such talented people as Academy Award winner Gail Sondergaard and Lee J. Cobb. The film itself, done with all the first-class elements that Fox gave its most important projects. So from 1946, directed by John Cromwell, a man with great credits, which include The Prisoner of Zenda, Sent You in Away, and The Enchanted Cottage. Here's a wonderful movie, Anna and the King of Siam. Mm -hmm. 